years. Hi, and welcome back to another segment of RV 101, Understanding Your RV. I'm Mark Polk, and I'll be your host today. Today's topic is RV roof vents and how to install a high-speed ventilation fan on your RV. When you purchase an RV, it will typically come equipped with standard roof vents in some of the roof openings. In the bathroom, the roof vent typically has a small built-in 12-volt fan for ventilation. A really nice upgrade you can do on your RV is to replace the existing roof vent with a high-powered ventilation fan. This particular fan by Max Air offers intake and exhaust functions and it is operated manually. We are going to replace an older unit that no longer works on our RV to demonstrate the installation process. Let's go up on the roof and get started. Caution. Be extremely careful when working on the roof of an RV. A fall can result in serious injury or worse. Follow the installation instructions that come with the fan you are installing. The first step is to remove the existing roof vent. You want to carefully remove all of the old roof sealant. If the roof has a rubber roofing material, be careful not to tear the material when removing the old sealant. I use a plastic scraper to help get the old sealant off. With the old sealant removed, you can remove the screw securing the vent to the roof. Next, remove the old vent and clean the area around the vent opening. You can place the new vent in the roof opening and trace around it using a pencil to make sure the area around the vent that will be sealed is clean and free of debris and old sealant. I use some denatured alcohol on a clean cloth to clean the roof surface. Use this opportunity to examine the framing and roofing material around the opening. What you are looking for is anywhere water intrusion may have started or where the potential for leaks might exist. Inspect the opening and surrounding area, and if you do find an area that needs work, make the necessary repairs before installing a new vent. If everything checks out, properly apply a continuous strip of good quality butyl tape on the bottom flange of the roof vent. Make sure the butyl tape covers the screw holes to get a good seal when you install the new vent. With this particular vent, the metal clips on the receiving flange must face the sides of the vehicle, not the front and rear. Secure the vent using the screws provided and tighten the screws until you see some butyl tape start to squeeze out around the edges, but do not over tighten. Remove any excess butyl tape from around the vent flange. It's extremely important that you use the proper sealant on the top and around the edge of the vent flange. Consult your owner's manual for the proper sealant to use. Cover each of the screw heads with a daub of sealant and run a bead around the perimeter of the vent flange for a good long-lasting seal. For our installation, we need a 12-volt DC power source for the ventilation fan. The existing wiring used for the old fan will work perfect. Turn off any 12-volt disconnect switches or disconnect the negative battery cable from the battery prior to making electrical connections. The max fan must be open prior to making the wiring connections. With the max fan open and the louvers facing the rear of the vehicle, lower the fan onto the roof receiving flange. Make sure the wires slide to the interior and don't get tangled or caught on anything. Make sure the fan is seated and fastened to the flange using the four three quarter inch stainless steel screws. Only use the screws provided. We are finished on the roof. Follow the fan installation instructions for making proper and safe electrical connections. Our fan uses a black wire for the 12-volt positive supply and white for negative. At this point, you can turn the 12-volt power on or reconnect the battery and test the operation of the new fan. On a new installation, you need to cut the garnish trim ring to fit the ceiling thickness. I'm using the old trim ring. Place any excess wiring to the inside of the roof opening and fasten the trim ring in place. Installing a new high-powered roof vent on your RV is not that difficult and the benefits are well worth the work. If you don't feel comfortable working on the RV roof or installing components on the roof, have the work done by an authorized RV repair facility. For more information about using and maintaining your RV, visit www.rvonlinetraining.com.